Hello, Matthew Williams here, doing one of my little YouTube specials. <laughs> right. Do you know the difference between small, medium, and large? This is the question. Which is bigger, a mouse, a chicken, or an elephant? Okay? Now, if you think you know the answer to this question, then take a deep breath and think about this one, because this one really excites me, and nobody's really been able to explain this one to me. Right, let's take the Jewish faith, the Muslim faith, and the Christian faith, okay? Now, if Jesus existed, and this is an if, okay, along with other figures like, you know, Muhammad and, you know, uh, whoever the god of the bloody Jews is, um, Yahweh or whatever, um, if these figures existed, all right, then what we're going to ask now is which one is bigger, okay? Which one is actually more important, okay? Now, it's just a little question, and I'm just wanted to see whether people can tell which is small, medium, and large, okay? So... Depending on how you did with the mouse, chicken, or elephant question may depend on whether you can answer this one. So, to help us out with this little, little observational test, I've got some, some helpers here. And these helpers are little creatures. And this one, let's say, this represents Mohammed. Okay? Now, Mohammed is a prophet. Okay, now he's just represented just, just for fun by this little scully type thing we've got here. Now, you know, he's got his special powers. He's got his special powers. He's a prophet, yeah? So he, he can, he can sort of see the future. He's got a contact with God, yeah? And, you know, he, he, his special powers might even extend to be able to do things like this with his eye. Yeah, so you know, every once in a while, if he's having contact with God, then his eye will just sort of go woo 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 woo, which means he's got special powers. Now, then, somewhere on the line, this guy called Jesus comes along. Now, I'm not saying I'm religious in any way, but I'm just trying to represent, you know, a, a, a particular problem we have here. Now, this guy comes along, and his name's Jesus. Now, this represents Jesus. Okay, now. He's supposed to be the son of God, okay? He is actually brought back from the dead, okay? He is a Jew, and he's supposed to be the king of the Jews. Sorry, just having a bit of Guinness. Mm. Nice stuff. Now, he's supposed to be the king of the Jews. Now, he's got super special powers, because he's the son of God. He ain't just no prophet. He's the son of God, yeah? Now, he's born of a virgin birth. And if you shake him, then he can do he can do some he can do some really mad things like he can light up in the dark, and he can float, yeah, and walk on water. So you know he's got all these special powers, and he's the son of God. Now, then you've got God, represented by yellow smiley face, which could also be seen as the sun. So you've got God. Now, what I want to know is this. In terms of scale, which one's bigger? Which one's bigger? Is it Muhammad, with his special power to speak to God? Jesus, with his special glow-in-the-dark powers and his ability to come back from the dead and he's the son of God? Or God? Which one's bigger? Which one's bigger? Right, well, obviously, it's God. Because God made them all, yeah? Then Jesus comes second, because he's the son of God. And then Muhammad is just like some human bloke who happens to be a prophet, yeah? And if that's the case, then why do people worship Muhammad from the Muslim faith when in the Quran it acknowledges that Jesus existed? And if it acknowledges Jesus existed, then if Jesus is the son of God, why are they worshipping this guy. Why? Why would they do that? That would be a strange thing to do because they're worshipping this little guy instead of this big guy. And why are they worshipping Allah instead of this guy? Just a question. And if Jesus was a Jew 
and he was the son of God, then why do all the Jewish people all worship their God, Yahweh, or whatever his name is? Why do they, the Hebrew people, why do they all not worship Jesus? The Jew, why don't the Jewish people all like freak out and go out mad over Jesus? Why don't they do that? They don't do it, do they? You know, Jewish people are not into Jesus. Yeah? I'm not exactly sure what they're into, but it's not Jesus. I mean, they, I know some Jewish people who wouldn't even go into a church, yeah? Because it's like, no, we're not going into a church because they're fucking Christians and they fucking believe in Jesus. We're not going in that fucking church because they're fucking Christians, yeah? So, um, they don't like this guy, God, and they don't like his son, Jesus. They all acknowledge him, but they don't follow this. They follow something fucking else. And what's all that about, eh? Can anybody answer me that one? So maybe these and other simple questions will be asked on Circle Makers TV. Second episode tomorrow night, the 25th, Wednesday, 9 o'clock UK time. Hmm. Bring your own drink and uh, Skype into the show. And uh, if we're still around because we haven't been killed because of a, a holy jihad, then um be good to see you there. So, thanks very much.